ladies. Welcome back to another weekly episode of the Simplicity TV show. It feels anything but simple today, not gonna lie to you. As I sit here, Jen Pike, your host, on the couch, um, straight up, my whole family is home as I am trying to record this. There are kids running up and down the stairs. There is a dog running all around. There's people coming in and out. There's laundry happening in the background. There's a lot of things going on and I'm still trying to show up and get the things done that I need to get done and that I wanna talk about and that I wanna share with you. And today I wanna to spend some time talking to you about the fact that when we hear things like creating a strong immune system, creating immune resiliency, supporting those things in our life, I think it's imperative that we are reminded as women with all of the things that are happening outside of us, inside of our heads and inside of our body, that it is nearly impossible to have a supported immune system if you don't have a supported nervous system and supported adrenals. I've done a lot of talks. I have master classes you can download. I have podcast episodes all about adrenal health. So I'm not going to spend an insane amount of time going through this, but if your biggest issue at the end of the day is that you feel like you had no time for yourself and you are spent and you have like overstretched the thread that is holding you, barely holding you together and your sleep is off and you're not nourishing yourself, you can take as much zinc and vitamin D and vitamin C and tinctures as you want and it will only hold onto the bare thread that you're holding onto with the tiniest grip. If you really wanna have a strong immune system, you have to step back and ask yourself honestly, holy mother of everything, like where are the areas that right now, I just, I need to drop the balls and not actually pick those back up. I can't do everything. I can't be everything for everyone. I just, I can't, it's too much. And sometimes it's not even the, the wording of I can't, it's I don't want to. I don't want to, and that is okay. And unfortunately for us as women, we've grown up. I mean, this is stuff we just, it gets handed down to us through not only our, our parents and our grandparents, but theirs and theirs and theirs and just the whole lineage of, as women, we don't feel safe to use our voice. We don't feel safe to be honest. We don't feel safe to speak up. We don't feel safe to say to the other people in our life, like, you figure it out. I'm not doing everything for you because we've been convinced that that means that you're selfish and it means that you don't care. And it couldn't be further from the truth. And honestly, like there is a female feminine uprising that's happening right now. And part of that, if you wanna jump on that train and embody it, is you have to start to allow yourself to use your voice and to choose you first. There is a, a saying, and I don't know if she you know, coined it or created it, but it's in her book and I live by it, by Kate Northrup in her book, Do Less, that says body first, business second. This is literally how I live my life. And in fact, for me, it's body first, business second, body first, family second, body first, everything and everyone else second. And that can sound very like off-putting for some women and it can sound selfish and I get it, but I'm telling you it's the total opposite. Every day that I wake up, I tap in and tune in and ask myself to be supported nervous system wise, adrenals, immune system. What do you need, Jen? What do you need today? Do you need to sit here on the couch and write? Do you need to wake up and have a warm mug of something delicious? Do you need to go for a walk? Do you need to lift weights? Do you need to unroll the yoga mat? What do you need? I'm gonna give you that. Do you need to lie here in bed a little bit longer? It is the most simple question that we can ask. What you choose on the other side of that question when you actually hear the response is the most powerful thing you can do for yourself. And honestly, and I am a functional nutritionist and practitioner, I'm telling you, that small shift in your day is probably more impactful than you coming downstairs and taking your supplement. I'm not saying every day wake up and ask yourself that, so it means every day you don't take the supplement. But I mean in those acute, critical moments where you have just had it and you need to triage your own self and take care of you, ask yourself the question, what do I need right now in this moment? Now, I know some of you, you little badasses and you're a little, little quippy and you'll be like, I need a glass of wine right now, Jen. I need a chocolate bar right now. I need a pound of chicken wings and eat it by myself with nobody else grabbing one of the chicken wings so I can just enjoy it. I get it. And listen, sometimes we need those times, but that's not what is actually, and you know this, I'm not telling you something new, going to set you up for success to feel your best. So here is how I would love you to support your immune system, your adrenals, and your nervous system. 
Can you please, in the next few days or even the next week, no longer, can you carve out some time? Can you set aside in a quiet space, in your comfy clothes, maybe put an essential oil on, have some nice music in the background, make yourself a mug of something delicious. I don't even care if it's a glass of water that you have. Grab your notebook and start to write down and ask yourself these questions. What brings me joy? What do I miss doing? What is a goal that I see myself write down over and over and over again, like New Year's every year, and it never happens? Why is it not happening? Do I actually not care about it? Or is it just, I'm afraid, right? Because sometimes that's it. We're afraid to lean in and do that thing because what if we don't succeed at it? What if we don't achieve it? Don't worry about the outcome. Focus on the right now. Start to get into your present here now moment and focus on moving forward from that place. Beautiful things happen, ladies, when you allow yourself the space to be honest with yourself and to be vulnerable and to write it down. No one else needs to see that. No one else needs to hear it. And within that container, I would also say, please be very careful who you share your desires and your intentions with because not everybody deserves to hear them. And that might even be your partner and your children and your parents and your siblings and your best friend. Not everyone is capable of holding the space for a greater sense of elevation in life, for greater purpose, for positivity, and for making those shifts and changes. Unfortunately, most people can only hold what they can hold for themselves. And so if you talk to people about these dreams that you have and these goals and these intentions, and they're not there, they will oftentimes make fun of it, they will shame it, they will tell you why that's not possible, they will poo-poo all over it. And so I'm gonna encourage you to hold them tight and hold them close to you for a little bit longer until you've started on that path. And when we talk about things like supporting your immune system, how many of you feel like you can be healthy in a negative environment? It's really hard. You can buy every supplement that the health food store sells in the immune system department. And if you are constantly surrounded by negativity, it is wearing you down and it is tearing you down bit by bit. So I have lots of videos on my YouTube channel about immune system support, about supplements, tinctures, food, all the different things that you can do. And I still believe in them wholeheartedly and they are wonderful and beautiful and you should definitely watch them. But today I wanted to come at it from a softer angle and one with a whole lot more grace and compassion for you and to you and yourself to flip the switch and think about it from a different perspective. Maybe the reason you're getting sick so often and not feeling well has actually nothing to do with those things and everything to do with what I just talked about. So take some time. I hope you can really create this for yourself. Any questions, any curiosity, never hesitate to reach out to us and to my team at hello at genpike.com. Have a fantastic rest of your day.